Hey guys, welcome to Tyler Lunch and Review. Today I'm going to try this Carlo's Pasta, born in Italy, crafted in America. This one is, it's microwaved in a steam bag. Um, this one is the six cheese ravioli with marinara. It says it is six um, artisanal cheeses wrapped in a perfect pasta pillow. Nice to know. Surrounded by a vine ripened tomato marinara sauce. It looks really good. Um, 16 ounces or 453.6 grams. It is frozen. Uh, we bought these at Kroger. It was $5.99, so $6 for this. Um, it is a pretty good sized bag though. There's uh, actually three servings in the bag, so technically two people could eat on this probably. Uh, one cup is 210 calories, or 620 if you eat the whole thing, which still isn't bad. And there's your other info if you want. So, of course, this is microwave. So, we're going to microwave the frozen seam bag seam side up, so just like this. Seam side up, somebody's coming to our door. Um, we're gonna microwave this on high for two minutes and 30 seconds, and then we're gonna remove the bag, flip it over a few times to stir the sauce up, and then cook for another two and a half minutes and uh, turn the bag over and then eat it. Um, one thing I'd recommend is putting um, a paper towel or something underneath of this, because if you don't, it's gonna probably leak out, because I've, I've done a couple of these. They always leak right around these seams right here and leak all over the place in your microwave. You don't want that all over your microwave. So I put a paper towel underneath of it to keep it from doing that. So I'm gonna get it in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, nothing to look at much. Here it is out of the microwave. You can see it leaked on that side, leaked on the paper towel. This would have been in your microwave. So just know it would have been, would have been a mess. Um, so I didn't take it yet and flip it around yet. See, it's literally flip it around. Back and forth a few times. Kind of mix all the sauce up. Okay, and I've got scissors. And I've got a plate I'm gonna pour it onto. So let me slide this, let me get this out of the way. And there's my plate. And let's pour it out and see what it looks like. Not bad, not bad. Looks, looks pretty good, pretty good size. Uh, Raviolis, our pillow, pillowy freshness. Yeah, so that's, uh, you get quite a bit of ravioli actually, and the sauce is, uh, don't look bad either. So I'm going to let this cool off for just a little bit. You can see the, probably see the steam coming off of it, but I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit, um, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. I cut a couple of them in half just so they wouldn't, uh, they'd have time to cool off a little bit. There's an odd, well, hold on, let me try another one. Um, the pasta's cooked really well, it's a, it's a really good texture. It's a little firm, um, which I like, I like the pasta just a little firm, not squishy and mushy. That bite was better. The first one I took a bite of, it almost tasted like there was, um, almost like meat of some kind, like, um, like a hamburger or a sausage or something in there. But I didn't get that with the second one. It must be one of the cheeses that they've got in there. Although, I just said six cheeses. Um, one of those cheeses has a little bit of a, I won't say bad flavor, but this has a different flavor that I'm used to eating. How's that? Um, Almost like it would be one of those harder cheeses that you um, that you slice off out of a wheel. Um, it's almost like something, one of those kind of flavors. This is not bad. I do like the texture of the sauce, I mean, uh, the pasta. The sauce is good. It's not um, over the top like tomato. It still has that sweetness of the tomato, but it's got some seasonings in there that, that kind of balance out all the just the tomatoiness of it. Um, so I like the sauce all right. It's not like a canned spaghetti sauce, so just know that it has a little more uh, um, seasonings in it than that, a little different seasonings in it than that. Um, but anyway, the pastas cook well. The flavors of the cheese is good. Again, it's got that one little, I think there's probably one cheese in there that's a little off. But now that I'm tasting the sauce by itself, I'm wondering if it's not I'm tasting the sauce and not the cheese that's giving me that little oddball flavor in there.
No, they're two different flavors. Um, mixed together, the sauce and the cheese that's a little strange and the sauce is a little different. It really makes it kind of weird, but overall I think it's good. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I do like it. I think it's a good meal. Um, I think people, uh, I think you will enjoy it if you get it. Um, just know that you can eat, um, there are three servings in the bag. Um, it's 600 and some calories if you eat all of it. There's not a ton of food here for the 600 and some calories, so just, just keep that in mind. Um, but the flavors are good, the textures are good. You don't really get a lot of that stringy cheese kind of feeling out of the middle of the ravioli. It's not that kind of cheese. It's more of a ricotta or something like that. Um, stuffed shell, which is what you get normally when you get ravioli anyway. So, I think it's good. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Try it out if you want to or not, whatever. Whatever suits your boat. Uh, if you don't wanna, doesn't sound appealing to you, then don't get it. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.